Hey guys, I'm back with a new video finally, and today's video will be about the update notes that they released for the new update, but it hasn't come out yet. So they're just kind of releasing this in advance, so we can just kind of take a look over it and kind of, you know, be ready for all the new changes. So, of course, the newest thing is, you know, oil, and so we're going to have wells that build oil, and then we're going to have refineries that store and collect oil. So that's pretty nice. I guess, I guess, I don't know which one's which. We'll figure out, though. Who knows? Um, they talked about the Gatling guns, um, so basically they create a wall of le lead to deal with groups of large defenders. I guess this might be good for maybe protecting some of your like infantry troops, it would actually be useful. So we can use that to kind of keep our uh, troops from getting attacked from other infantry troops. So I don't know, that might be useful. Uh, gorillas. Um, undetected by enemy towers, they sneak through the uh, through gates to plant explosives and clear out defenses. And so, I guess they're just, I don't know what they can be attacked by. I guess we have to set our traps, you know, spike traps, ambush traps, or I guess infantry troops can hit them then, since I guess they're not detected by enemy towers. Um, let's see. Improved troop movement and targeting. And so... You know, a lot of people complain about this, you know, people posted pictures and stuff and like how, you know, when you're attacking the cavalry, it's just, or like any troop really, like archers, they just attack a wall, even though they can just go around it, you know, no one knows why, I guess, but now they finally fixed it, and so, let's see, they also changed, let's see, they all attack the same wall, which is so much more useful, because you know how you want to spread out your troops, because you don't want them to get all attacked by a catapult. And so now they kind of make them attack the same wall. So that would be a lot better. And so let's see. Balance updates. So about the nations. They basically, I think they rebuffed that England's loot bonus. Because I'm pretty sure it was at 10% originally. But then they changed it to 5% and then changed it back to 10%. Um, Germany gets a new additional nation power. So they get a 10% damage boost after a victorious multiplayer battle. Ah. Uh, kind of wish I was German to see what that would would uh, how that would be like but that's pretty nice I mean there are you know I'm glad that some of the other ones are getting boosts so France they're getting um, basically you can get more donated troops so that means you can actually probably get like bombards and maybe supply carts with the French nation which is pretty interesting then um, the Japanese town center gets extra range but reduced fire rate so basically it doesn't fire as often um, let's see that I guess those changes, you know, I never, you know, I didn't worry about too much about it, but I mean, that's pretty nice for the other nations. I mean, Japanese ones kind of, it's kind of good and bad. It's kind of like they can't attack as often, but you know, they get more range. So it's, I guess it's good. Um, let's see. So we're going to get higher player levels again. I think the max is 108 right now. I think I'm currently like 93. So yep, we're going to, I guess we're going to be up like in the 120s, 130s most likely. Um, generals, they're going to get buffed a lot, apparently, so we get five additional general upgrades. I guess that's okay. Um, this is this is a really good, nice thing. So a new library tech we can research is uh, activate two generals at the same time. And that's awesome. Like, I can't... So then, since now they got buffed some, and also... Let's see. So that means we can have two generals. I mean, since they're kind of buffed, they don't do a lot of damage in general, but I mean... They're a decent meat shield, and they can take out the enemy troops easier. So that'd be kind of useful. They all move at the same speed now, so I guess that's okay. I never really noticed the difference because I haven't had Napoleon yet, so I'm not quite sure. Um, let's see, heavily infantry range reduced to 1.5 in the Enlightenment Age. It was 2.0. So I guess basically they can't attack over walls now. That's what I'm thinking. I'm not really sure because that's going to be a pretty big nerf. Because that's actually pretty useful because you know how everyone's, they put their defensive buildings right next to the wall. Or inside the wall, but it's right next to it still. So they can still get attacked. So, yeah, that's kind of a nerf, I think. Um, raiders are getting actually buffed. They get more damage and hit points. Yeah, that's that's understandable because, I mean, no one really uses the cavalry Raiders that often. I mean, what's the point of having them, to be honest? Um... You know, when you have infantry troops that can do the same amount of damage, or you can have, you know, basically that. That's all you need. They can do the same amount of damage quickly. So, yeah, I'm glad that they're uh, boosting that up. Let's see, weapon blessing. 
increased to 30%. Was 20%. Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. 30%. That's a lot. And then training button decreased to 70%. Was 80%. Duration up to 20 minutes, but was 15 minutes. Um, I do want to get the training blessing soon. I have to upgrade my War Academy again, but it's you know 3.5 million food, so that's gonna take a while. Um, but I can't wait. I want to get the training blessing because I think that will help out a lot. Uh, let's see, just some other things. They can use crowns to ask for more troops now. Uh, finish now. Cost update uh, update in real time. Less scroll, less scrolling, more scrolls. I uh. Ah, uh, okay, I think I understand. So, I guess when you go, it'll automatically scroll back to the beginning. Um, I guess that's what it is. New achievements, you know, animal blessing, let's see, spawns, okay. I feel like the animal blessing never really did what it was supposed to, but I guess now it does. So that's good. Um, let me read kind of through these. I wonder which ones are more interesting. Better logic when trying to connect. Okay, great. I really like this one because... I'm getting a new phone soon, guys. It's finally gotten shipped, so I'm finally going to have that soon, and we're going to have better quality for my main account. So that's going to be awesome. Hopefully this helps out a lot with connecting my old account. Um, let's see. They get a they get their own rally icon. Oh, lucky them. Um, let's see. You new change wonder icon. Okay. Um, let's see. I don't know. I guess a lot of these are just small things, you know, um, let's see, rotate buttons always shown when map better to prevent buttons from moving position. Let's see. I guess a lot of these, you know, they're not, they're just kind of fixes and stuff like that. But a lot of this other stuff, that's a lot of, you know, a lot of good stuff. So I think hopefully we can get people, you know, prevent more cheaters from, you know, cheating all the time. And now... You know, there's always a lot of people been cheating. You can see it, a lot of posts everywhere. So, I know if you guys see one, report them. You know, because I don't, I don't condone cheating because it doesn't make it fun for anybody else. You know, and so, I don't know. There's a lot of stuff right here, but I know. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Are you guys excited about the new update that's coming out? Let me know what you guys think, and I'll see you guys next time. I'll definitely have the update as soon as possible and post a new video and show you guys what's up. Okay, I'll see you guys next time.